First question, can one course satisfy multiple requirements? The answer is yes. One course can satisfy multiple breadth requirements, such as a Hume C and a depth requirement. And there are some lower division major requirements that can also satisfy a breadth requirement. How can I identify courses that satisfy multiple requirements? The first place that you can look is the BCO approved breadth course list. You can also look on your degree audit. And the last place that you can look is the schedule of classes. What happens if I exceed the maximum 215 units? You'll still be allowed to complete your major required courses, but you will have to discuss any additional units with your academic advisor. What two GPAs are important for graduation? Students must earn at least a 2.0 cumulative and a 2.0 upper division major GPA to earn their degree. What additional resources are available to assist with planning degree requirements? You can access your suggested course plan at student.engr.ucr.edu for a list of all of your required courses. My guess is not showing up on my degree audit. How do I handle this? Wait until after week five, then email your assigned academic advisor. This way you'll give your assigned academic advisor time to process the IGETSIs that are received. I want to discuss course planning for several future terms. When is it appropriate for me to do that? Make an appointment with your academic advisor during weeks three, two through five. These are the optimal times because the, your academic advisor can fit you into the schedule and will know and be prepared to help you course plan for your future. I've reviewed my degree audit and it's time for me to register. But I noticed that something is incorrect that will prevent me from enrolling in a critical course. Contact your academic advisor immediately. It is really good that you're using your degree audit as your tool to, to make sure that you have a smooth sailing registration process. It's coming close to my graduation term, and I have several requirements that have not been satisfied, but should be. What should I do? Contact your academic advisor immediately. Send smoke signals, flashing lights, and sirens. <laughs> In conclusion, your degree audit is your official document of record, so it's important that you make sure that the degree audit is accurate. It's also important that you check your degree audit regularly to confirm accuracy. And you make sure that the classes that you've completed are in fact marked as satisfied. You have several different resources of which you can find on student.engr.ucr.edu, such as your suggested course plan, all of the policies and procedures that we have.